Hi, hello friends. Welcome to our channel, Study of Mathematics. In this, we have to solve next problem. That is, in 3.11.5 solve problems, problem number 3. The problem is, find the circumcenter of the triangle whose vertices are 1, 3, minus 3, 5 and 5 comma minus 1 this is our given problem in this problem we have to find out the circumcenter of the triangle for finding circumcenter we have to given the vertices of a triangle let this vertices let it be a b c already we know the one statement that is if a of x1 comma y1 b of x2 comma y2 and c of x3 comma y2 3 or the vertices of a triangle and circumcenter denoted by s s of x comma y be the circumcenter of a triangle a b c then we have s a equal to s b equal to s c the distance from the circumcenter to the vertex a is equal to the distance from the circumcenter to the vertex b is equal to the circumcenter the distance between the circumcenter to the vertex C is all or equal. This is our known statement. By using this statement, we can find out the circumcenter. For the first given data, given vertices are, given vertices are, let it be A, B, C. A equal to 1, comma 3. B equal to minus 3, comma 5 and c equal to 5 comma minus 1 then let capital s of x comma y be the circumcenter circumcenter of the triangle abc then we know that then we know s a equal to s b equal to s c this is the known statement. By using this statement, we can solve the circumcenter. For that, first, we can equate these two. Now, we can take SA equal to SB. We know the SA means the distance between these any two points. That means the points S and A. If x1 comma y1 and x2 comma y2 or any two points then the distance between these two points is square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square for cancellation the root we can square the squaring on both sides squaring on both sides of the equation then s e square equal to s b square in that we can form the formula is x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. This is the uh, distance formula. In this distance formula, we can squaring on both sides. Then by taking square, square and root get cancelled. Then here we can use same this. After substituting the values, then x minus 1 whole square plus y minus 3 whole square that is equal to x plus 3 whole square plus y minus 5 whole square in sa x1 x2 x1 x2 sorry x1 y1 x2 y2 in sb x1 y1 x2 y2 substituting values then x square plus 1 minus 2 x here we can apply the a minus b whole square formula and here a plus b whole square formula y square plus 9 minus 6 y is equal to x square plus 9 plus 6x plus y square plus 25 minus 10y. Here x square, y square, x square, x square and y square, y square get cancelled because these are having same sign on or in opposite side. Then the remaining value is 1 minus 2x plus 9 minus 6y then take all values in one side then minus 9 minus 6x minus 25 
plus 10 by equal to 0 here 9 9 get cancelled then minus 2x minus 6x six six, minus 8x minus 6y plus 10y plus 4y 1 minus 24 minus 24 is equal to 0 here we can take minus 4 as common then minus 4 as common then 2x minus y plus 6 equal to 0 this is equation number 1 here we can take minus 4 as common then again now we have to use sb equal to sc we can equate these two here also squaring on both sides sb square equal to sc square and also substitute the values x plus 3 whole square plus y minus 5 whole square that is equal to x minus 5 whole square plus y plus 1 whole square after expanding x square plus 9 plus 6x six six plus y square plus 25 minus 10y is equal to x square plus 25 minus 10x plus y square plus 1 plus 2y here x square x square y square y square get cancelled and also 25 25 get cancelled then remaining value is 6x minus 10y plus 9 these values minus 10x can be written 10x minus 1 minus 2y is equal to 0 then 6x plus 10x the value is 16x minus 12y plus 8 is equal to 0. This is equation number 2. Oh, no, 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 no. Here also we can take 4 as common. Then 4x minus 3y plus 2 equal to 0. This is equation number 2. By solving equations 1 and 2, we can get the circumcenter equation by solving equations 1 and 2 comma we have from first equation first y, y coefficient constant terms x coefficient and again y coefficient values from first equation from first equation y coefficient value is minus 1 Constant value 6, x coefficient value 2, again y coefficient value minus 1. From second equation, y coefficient value minus 3, constant value 2, x coefficient 4, again x minus 3. x by minus 2 plus 6, 3 is 18 equal to y by 24 minus 4 equal to 1 by minus 6 plus 4 x by 16 equal to y by 20 equal to 1 by 2 then x by 16 equal to here x by 16 equal to 1 by 2 2 ones are 2 eights are then x equal to 8 similarly y by 20 equal to 1 by 2 then y equal to 2 1s are 10, uh, 2 tens are y equal to, here yeah, sorry, minus 2, here also minus 2, minus 8, minus 2, minus 10, therefore, circumcenter, circumcenter denoted by s equal to minus 8 comma minus 10. This is the procedure for finding circumcenter of a triangle if we given the vertices of a triangle. First we can, for finding circumcenter we can 
use SA equal to SB equal to SCE. We can equate SA equal to SB and SB equal to SCE. By solving these equations, we can get circumcenter. And also, we can find SA, SB and SA, SC equations. And also, we can find the circumcenter. That means SA equal to SB and SB equal to SC. For finding these two equations, also we can find the circumcenter and we can find SA equal to SB and SA equal to SC. We can find circumcenter and also we can take SB equal to SC and SB equal to SC. These two. SCAC SCA equal to SC. Here also we can find the circumcenter. We can equate any two equal any two values for we can finding the circumcenter. We have only two equations. Thanks for watching our video. For more videos, please like, share, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon.